What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Oklahoma City. Let's begin. All right, coming to you from America's heartland right here in the Midwest, Oklahoma City, as you can see right here. From my experience and based on my opinion, I would say Oklahoma City is one of the most underrated cities in all of the country. In this travel guide, we show you guys around the downtown area, some of the historic neighborhoods around town like Bricktown. We also go to the Capitol. Now, don't forget there is some museums you'll want to check out when you come here as well. And as always, if you enjoy travel guides from across the United States and the rest of the world, please do consider subscribing to this channel, Island Opera TV. So Oklahoma City, also known as OKC, is the largest city in Oklahoma ahead of Tulsa. And it's also the capital with a population of 674,000 people. Metro area, including all areas with Norman, Oklahoma, 1.3 million people live in the metro area around Oklahoma City. Towards the latter part of this travel guide, we're actually going to show you around a town just south of Oklahoma City called Davis. We're actually going to go to Turner Falls, so you'll want to stick around to the end to see that beautiful uh, eco park that's known as Turner Falls. Come to Oklahoma City downtown. This area right here is known as Bricktown. If you look right behind me, you can see the Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame with Jim Thorpe right there. Now aside from baseball, another reason to actually visit Bricktown would be to see this beautiful waterfront. It's not quite as big as the one in San Antonio, but it is very well manicured and there are pubs, restaurants, and other places to visit for nightlife. So downtown here in the Bricktown, they have a river walk area where you can also take a water taxi up and down here. It's really nice. I mean, they have bricks on both sides, uh, some restaurants, bars, lounges, just a real peaceful place to come here in Bricktown.
Now we didn't quite make it over to these museums, but I would like to give an honorable mention to these two. Oklahoma City National Memorial Museum and the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. So I would highly recommend if you get a chance going over there as well as considering taking a look at the Oklahoma City Zoo and Botanical Garden. Now we're going to walk around the downtown area, the financial district, and show you guys the underground. So the underground, just like Houston and some of the other cities in the United States, really cool. Let's take a look. Probably one of the more clean and well manicured downtown areas I've ever seen in all of the nation. Oklahoma City is actually a really modern city, especially in the interior. When you guys come down to this downtown area, you're going to be surprised at how many big buildings and very new buildings, as well as the streets. So Oklahoma City, an old city, but it's totally uh, revamped itself and looks great downtown right now. So great job to everyone in Oklahoma City for building such a beautiful downtown. Did you know Oklahoma City actually has an underground that you can walk around, which is where we're at right now. We're actually going through to the History Center. Many of you guys have already heard about the Oklahoma Sooners. That's the college football team, right? But the term Sooner was actually a term used for people who showed up in the late 1800s to claim land uh, out here in Oklahoma. So people who came out here, there were boomers, boomer Sooners, <laughs> but that's where the term Sooner comes from. These were people who showed up out here to stake land in Oklahoma. And if you don't think the Oklahoma City underground is expansive, look at this. I mean, we're still going. If you look right behind me right here, you can see the actual tallest building in Oklahoma City. This right here is a major oil hub. So oil and petroleum comes right out of here. They did a lot of uh, exploration for oil in Oklahoma and Oklahoma City became a major place for this. Also livestock. Chicago was once a big place for livestock. They moved it down here to Oklahoma City and uh, there are a lot of different com uh, commercial energy companies like Chesapeake Energy down here as well. If you look right behind me, this is where the Murrah Federal Building was. The Murrah Federal Building was bombed in the 90s by Timothy McVeigh. This here is the memorial for where that bombing took place. You might remember it as the Oklahoma City bombing.
So the Murrah building was a federal building that once stood here. Nowadays it's been uh, torn down and demolished, replaced with this park that obviously memorializes the location of the tragedy. So not too much uh, else to be said, but we'll show you guys around this location here at the Memorial Park. Philly cheesesteak here in Oklahoma City. So here we are in the south side of downtown at the Myriad Botanical Gardens. If you look right behind me, you can see the actual biosphere that they're contained in, but this park area is beautiful. And if you're an NBA fan, right behind me is where the Oklahoma City Thunder play basketball at the Chesapeake Energy Arena. And if you look right behind me here, you can see the capital of Oklahoma. As I told you guys earlier, Oklahoma City is the capital seat. All right, now we're gonna show you down south here at Turner Falls. As you can see, we're driving up into this park here. There is a daily fee if you do intend to hang out and play here. Uh, you guys can go on their website, just type in Turner Falls and it'll tell you the exact price depending on what you guys want to do here. But uh, there's lots of different lagoons in this river area in this eco park camping and I actually liked it. So uh, I do recommend taking the time to come down to Turner Falls if you like to get out in the great outdoors out here in Oklahoma.
So here we are at Turner Falls in Davis, Oklahoma. Beautiful place to just walk around, hang out, and cool off. And this is actually a look at the town of Davis. Not too much to see here. I'll be completely uh, forward with you, but maybe you can get a bite to eat, a cup of coffee, or just kind of cruise through when you're in the area. But yeah, this is the town of Davis, about 35 to 45 minutes south of Oklahoma City. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this episode of Island Hopper TV from Oklahoma City. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, watch some of the more of these other videos and consider subscribing to this channel and liking the video. 